Welcome everybody, my name is Mario from smartincomebuilders.com and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about augmented reality ads. You may have seen this new ad format before, it's like where you scroll through your newsfeed and then see an interactive ad where you can tap and maybe try on some filter or change the background etc. Really cool format and I want to show you how you can create these kind of ads, how you use them, you upload them and then finally work with them. So now let's dive right into it, I show you how it's done. It's so called Lens Studio where you can create uh, augmented reality ads. This includes filters or even mini games, uh, face decorations etc. Um, so the funny part is you can actually use uh, things you can create in this uh, Spark AI project and uh, make it available as a Facebook ad. So uh, in today's video we want to do a deep dive on uh, how to get Spark AR, how to create your first project with Spark AR and uh, upload the ad to Facebook and then uh, yeah use it. So first off go to sparkar.facebook.com slash arstudio and uh, you see you have uh, download buttons here, learn more, etc. and even uh, some uh, learning material. But uh, for our case, just click the download button, uh, click the download button again and uh, Spark Care Studio will download. I will cancel this because I have already downloaded it and already installed the Spark Care Studio. So if you have installed it, it's available on uh, PC and also for Mac. So it doesn't matter which platform, you can open it up and you are presented with a lot of templates here. For example, uh, you can make 2D stickers. Think of it like uh, you can, uh, if, if you have a story uh, or if you see a story on your, on your news feed and it has these uh, augmented reality stickers, you can just click on one, two, three and uh, a and, uh, visual image is projected somewhere in your uh, your eyesight and uh, it's looking like it's actually floating there and it's actually real it's looking really real so that's one very cool addition to this whole thing so I think they started really started out with changing your eye colors or head decoration where you can put a 3d object and put it on your on your on your head um, but also face mask background background is really cool we want to show you uh, in this tutorial how you can change the background and have more uh, uh, and change your complete scenery and also word objects. So for example, these filters differ a lot because for some of them you just need to do some very basic uh, image editing. But for some uh, uh, filters where you really need some uh, 3D objects, you have to get them done before. So you need another program where you can actually uh, draw these uh, 3D objects or have freelance and make them for you. But, but that's okay. Let's dive right into the video. Uh, for example, in this tutorial, we will do a background filter. So I click here on background filter and then the Spark AR Studio will open for the first time. So I have uh, just installed a new version. It tells me what new things we can do. Uh, and there we are. Um, you see you have different uh, windows here in the Spark AR Studio. On the left we have uh, our scene window where we can uh, add objects. For example, face tracker, planes, 3D object. So I think the most standard thing here is the camera, which is actually here. And uh, I think uh, we can, yeah. We can drag it around. So it's all rendered in 3D right now and we can see, okay, here's the camera angle and this is our plane, our pane where we are projected. Uh, so we have also here the emulator where we can choose a device which we are using, for example, uh, now right now it's on iPhone 8 but we can write, uh, change to an iPhone X. So this makes sense if you have to test your effect on various screen resolutions. You see the resolutions out here. You have Android devices also, and you can resize the window if you want to. Uh, I think the standard one is the front camera. But right now I said we were doing a background image. 
replacement. So if you selected this uh, template, you have this uh, cool button here which says replace me. This is the actual background the whole filter is using. For example, I click right click here, actions. So I make the right click here, click on replace, and then, then uh, yeah. Then we have our file editor open and then you can say, okay, I just wanted to use a new image. So let's say I use this fiber image here. I mean, it looks really ugly, <laughs> but you can see the background has changed and you still can see the person at the front. So it's blended into his shape and also all from the background is blended out. So let's do another rechange because, uh, yeah, I don't really like it. I have done some, uh, you know, pictures from a website. I think, yeah, they should look better. So that's one uh, image I'll use for Pinterest a lot. This could be a background. So think of it. If you're doing an ad like this, um, all you have to do is make some elements of your brand available in the picture or in the objects you use in the Spark AR Studio and then it will become available as a filter. So when you think later of it uh, and using it as an ad, people will not uh, use it because, oh, it's an augmented reality ad. They will interact with it because they think, oh, this is a really, really nice looking background or image I want to try it out on myself and the best way is that I can take a picture of it, share it, then you will reach a much larger audience in comparison with the original audience who were actually shown the ad. So if you are all fine with your ad and you think, okay, now I have created this whole ad, but how can I get it to Facebook? No problem. Be sure to make two steps before you upload them. Step number one, it has to really look good at the emulator. So for example, we check different screen resolutions. We check it on Nexus or we they check it on the Samsung Galaxy S5. So if it's looking good and we say, okay, we can go with it. After you have done your tests here, you can click on this button here, which says test on device. The test on device part is actually sending this pre-made filter to an application on your smartphone. You have the so-called Spar AR Player app, which is available for Android and also for iOS, uh, which you can install onto your smartphone. After you connect the smartphone to your PC or Mac, you can use this button and then upload it to the Spark AR Player. And this Spark AR Player just simulates um, a Facebook or Instagram camera, and then you can try it on live. So not only an emulator, but you can try it on real life. After this test has also passed, you are ready to go. You can hit the export button and say, okay, I want to publish a new effect and click upload. If you are using Spark AR for the very first time, uh, they may ask you to log in with your Facebook credentials. So uh, because this is a Facebook product, you need a Facebook account, which all your effects will be tied to. So for example, I click the upload button here and we see what's happening. So, okay, we are at 100% now and uh, the Spark AR hub opens. This is the page where all of your Spark AR apps are going to be uploaded. Um, if we are going to publish an effect, so right now I can uh, tie it to one of my Facebook pages. So you can tie it to any of your Facebook pages. Um, you have this uh, Spark VR export here, it's already uploaded and you can choose the destination. You can either choose Facebook, Instagram or Facebook ads. Uh, the difference here is if I just select Facebook, it will only be available as a Facebook camera filter. Yeah? In Instagram, same thing, but it's available at Instagram only. And uh, for Facebook ads, same thing, but we can really use it 
when we are creating an ad. Add name, you just specify, okay, how should the name of my new filter be? You select here the uh, Facebook page and then instructions for the reviewer. You know, before uh, your Spark AR ad can go live, they have to go to a certain type of review process where real persons of Facebook are actually taking a look, a really detailed look on the filter and decide if they can pass it on to the platform or not. So if you have any, if your filter is very complex and can do very cool and complex stuff, be sure to write here in the description box. Another thing we need is that you are filming yourself with your camera while you are using your filter or another person, it doesn't really matter, and then upload the video here. So they can make even faster decisions when they are reviewing your ad. Lastly, hit the submit button and then it will go into this process. From my experience, you will hear two to three days after you hit the submit button if your ad is approved or not. You can select your Spark AR ad on the last page of the ad creation, on the actual ad creation page itself under beta AR experiences. So for example, the cool thing is if you are using this AR ad and people are scrolling through the timeline and they're seeing your ad, it has a very bold button, tap to interact. So most of the people will simply click on that button just because it's very new and uh, they have never seen it before and then they are right into your experience. So the better you build your experience, the more the people are hooked. So now we are at the end of tutorial. If you have any additional questions, hit the comments below. I would love to answer them for you. So thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already done it. Uh, I've done an in-depth article about this topic uh, on my site www.smartincomebuilders.com I have given a link to this topic right in the description box in this video. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.